with intention. The sun is my only weapon in a vehicle ascension. Welcome to Who's Lucid News Report. We collect and count the coins of experience to come to a consensus of what's cracking here at Camp Human, our home here on Earth. As we call it a Who's Lucid What Now? The multidimensional news for the metaphysically open mind. In Micromedia News, David Wilcock of DivineCosmos.com has also been threatened in this recent push against Micromedia itself. Why the threat? Well, he's adding to the evidence, the growing evidence, a false scarcity of commodities in this world, like gold. Ooh, precious gold. The PowerPoint button in particular that David pushed on some particularly powerful people happens to pertain to a trillion dollar lawsuit recently filed here in the United States. And since it is an official case, let us read the official details, shall we? <laughs> so, Southern District of New York, case number 1-11-CV-08-500-JFK Hey, you guys want to sit in Plaintiff, Neil F. Keenan, representing himself and as an agent for the quote-unquote Dragon Family and citizens of foreign states. Some of the defendants include the Office of International Treasure Control and the United Nations. Hmm, interesting. For more information on this situation, I highly recommend you check out Kerry Cassidy and Sean David Martin show on American Freedom Radio. You can find them on YouTube or on the internet. And I also recommend checking out Kerry Cassidy's blog at projectcamelot.org. Check it out. Very I want to take a quick moment to comment on the situation with David Wilcock, or as I lovingly refer to him sometimes as David Will Casey. Either way, this game, quote unquote, is very serious. And for those of us who are outspoken or actively involved in research and this suppressed information, it's quite real, these threats. And one never really knows how they're going to react the first time they encounter it. Well, now David has a chance to know how he's going to react and how to react differently in the future. And just like any game, there can be some inherent danger in people can get hurt. And in this situation, I kind of liken it to baseball. You know, whether like Little League or the Major Leagues. Whenever there's a person who gets hit by a pitch, the person goes down and they take time out of the game, it's always the person that goes down and is there for a while in pain who gets the most claps as they get up and get up and make their way off to their base. As opposed to the person who takes the pitch, goes to the base in stride and just does their job. They usually go unappreciated quite often. So in this situation, you know, go easy on David. He's got bean by pitch. Alright David, walk it off! Good job buddy! Way to go! And another dangerous micromedia news, independent internet radio station Universal Truth Evolution decided to go on hiatus amongst rumors of death threats and encouragement or discouragement, depending on how you look at it from Men in Black. Are these just rumors? What's the fact? What isn't? Either way, Universal Truth Evolution was known for reporting on a lot of the same stuff David Wilcock was mentioning, as well as uh, bringing to light situations concerning um, projects that most people don't think are real and are science fiction, but are in fact hmm, non-fiction, quite reality, including touchy subjects like UFOs, ETs, and secret psychic programs in the government. For more information, check out their archives at www.blogtalkradio.com slash universal truth evolution and now it's time for our totally serious stuff segment on things from the mainstream news speaking of economic conflict along the lines that David Wilcock and UTE have been reporting on a non-trade war trade war is going on right now between the United States and China search Reuters headline for China US trade disputes pile up it reads as a laundry list of trade disputes on a massive scale, many that involve the movement of large quantities of commodities. And when you check out the article, it's all about duties and countervailing duties on goods and stuff. A lot of duty being flung around. A hot topic on all fronts is the signing of the National Defense Authorization Act on Bill of Rights Day. How patriotic. This would grant the United States military authorization to detain United States citizens indefinitely without trial, amongst other things I'm sure. 
So, what this glibly means is that uh, if a general tells the president you're a Kaida and the president believes him, well, they'll grab you. So, pretty important that we keep an eye on this one. On the brighter side, Senator Feinstein, California, introduced the Due Process Guarantee Act of 2011 to ensure United States citizens' rights. Good for her. Doesn't mean I trust her. Though. And it's time to ground the spacey news. The NSA was recently forced to release records of extraterrestrial transmissions received in the 50s. Who sent them? What did they mean? No one knows, not even them. Officially, of course. Life is possible on large parts of Mars, say researchers and mainstream academics at Australian National University. The particularly interesting part is how they mention that underground is also favorable to life as well. Check out whistleblower Andy Basiago at projectpegasus.net for more information on where life on Mars might be hanging out on and underneath the surface. Mainstreamers might remember Andy as the guy who pointed out the figurine on the Mars rover image. And time to switch hats again. Welcome to our metaphysical motherfucking news segment. We love and line our day away, come what may. And now, our armchair astrology report. On December 10th, we had a full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, which made us focus on the task at hand and the priorities that need to be addressed, despite the chaotic flood of energy. Mercury went direct after being in retrograde since the end of November on December 13th. So that means communication and movement through life should be a lot smoother now. Venus moves into Aquarius December 20th. The independent air sign makes romantic and individual expression more conductive. So create those personal and professional endeavors with your own style and vigor. Winter solstice time. The sun moves into Capricorn December 21st. So be serious and honest about your endeavors and they will bear fruit. And with a new moon in Sagittarius, careful planning beyond the horizon and diligent pursuit will ensure that those bold hopes and dreams come into being. And now it's time to put on a smile and love and light our day away with another merry metaphysical motherbugger moment. So, with all the trials these days and all the tribulations with war and the economy, I figured a quote by Rumi would be good right now because we're all feeling so much pain from different ways and all the different things that are going on these days and so as Rumi says says the wound is the place where the light enters you and I find that reassuring and a good change of pace as opposed to the insults the GMO food the fluoride the chemtrails and the relentless propaganda um, so let that light enter that place of pain because it's going to shine on your true soul. So, with that, put on your very metaphysical mullbuggin' smile and love and light your day away. Thank you everyone for tuning in to Who's Lucid News Report, the multi-dimensional news for the metaphysically open-minded. So until next time, speak your truth, stand strong, rise and shine. Ascension in this commentary is poetry.